Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have another great tutorial in Cricut Design Space. This time we are exploring your slice tool. Now, if you like Cricut Design Space and you're ready to learn more about that amazing software, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because we have a lot of really great tutorials coming for you in the future. But for now, let's get started. All right guys, so here we are in Cricut Design Space and I'm really excited to show you this tool today because it is really, really useful. It's gonna help you when you're looking to modify or even start setting up your own files in Cricut Design Space. So really, really love it. First, let me tell you what your slice tool is and it's best to go ahead and show you. So I'm going to grab some basic shapes. I'll just grab a square and I will grab a circle. Just Really, really easy, um, you know, obviously easy to tell them apart. Let's go ahead and I'll just give this one a different color and we'll make them larger so you can see exactly what's going on here, okay? Now, you'll notice if I click on just one of them, my slice tool, which is located down here in the bottom right-hand side, the slice tool is still grayed out because you need to select more than one item for your slice tool to really, for I mean, for it to do anything. You can't slice just one item. Let me also go ahead and show you something else. If I happen to have three items and I select them all, the slice tool grays out again. So you do need to make sure that you only have two items selected. All right, now I'm gonna select these two items and I'm going to click slice. And you'll see the results happen here on the screen and you will also see them over here in your list of shapes, okay? And they do list them as slice results. Okay, so that's exciting. But if I break them up, it literally has chopped both of these designs into their respective pieces. Okay, so this is where the circle overlapped and this is where the square overlapped. Now for this example, what are you gonna use those for? Eh, not really that big of a deal. Let's uh, go ahead and delete all those. But let me show you something that might be helpful. And I'm just using the very same square and circle. What happens? If now I'm using a circle, but obviously guys, this is, this is better if you, uh, you know, need to do a, a different shape, but what if I need a semicircle? Okay. I'm going to select both of these slice and ta-da. Now that's what I have. So, you know, that is a very, very basic example, but it's a perfect, um, you know, just illustration of what the slice tool does. It cuts one shape out of the other and vice versa. All right, so it's good for modifying shapes that you're working with. Now let's talk about a practical use on what you might want to use this for. Let's go to upload and I'm going to bring in two different types of files. I'm gonna bring in a PNG file. So let's just go ahead and click on it and choose open. Now I have downloaded these and I have unzipped them from their folders. So make sure that you do that ahead of time. And this is a PNG file, so we're just gonna go ahead and keep it as a print then cut image, okay? Because we all know that PNG files, that's really what you need them for uh, to use them in Cricut Design Space is if it's something that you're going to print, okay? Otherwise, a PNG file could just, you know, be a regular cut file, and in this case, it's a square. So who needs a square? Because that's not practical. I could draw my own square. So long story short, that's what we're working with and I'm gonna bring in a sunflower. Now the sunflower is an SVG file. So let's go ahead and grab both of those. And I like doing this especially for um, mock-ups. So even if I'm not doing a print then cut image, I can do this to create mock-ups with pattern vinyl or you know create um, you know, examples of what something will look like using a you know specific color or pattern. So let's go ahead and slice. So I just selected both of them, just like we did the first time. We're gonna slice it out. And basically we're gonna get three different results. So let's go ahead, we're gonna take out our original sunflower. We're gonna take out the outline. And what we're left with is this really gorgeous pattern sunflower, okay? Now again, if I'm just cutting this on my Cricut, you know, this would need to be a print and cut or I would need to cut it from that pattern. But still really cool in my opinion, and probably a lot of you guys, you know, if you're looking to create your own stickers, maybe you're looking to create, you know, planner stickers or printable decals, anything like that, maybe some water slides, that is a really great way to use these patterns, 
All right, let's go ahead and talk about another very common way. And this is going to be using text. Now with my text, I'm gonna go ahead and just type out two separate words. And then what I wanna do is go ahead and select my text. Okay, so we have my first font selected. Now it's time for my second font. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some glyphs to this, okay? So um, if you need help using glyphs, we do have a really great video on um, learning to use your, your glyph fonts in Cricut Design Space. Okay, so say I want to add one text on top of the other. So let's make this a little larger, okay? Position it wherever I want. Let's make them different colors just so that they're easier to see. There we go. Now you'll notice I am making sure that the one that I want to subtract is on top, all right? So that just helps make it easier for positioning and different things like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna come in here and create an offset. Now this one will be a very thin offset, okay? So we're looking usually at 0.05. That's a favorite of mine. So I can just hit apply. And then I wanna select my text offset, hold down my shift key and select my text and slice, okay? Now I like to do the deleting from the menu over here once we get multiple layers like this just to make sure that I'm selecting the correct thing. So once our slicing is done, Let's see, I want to delete one, two, three layers. There we go. And I now have a text that is subtracted out from the other. All right, now that helps a lot with layering because um, you know if I'm layering adhesive vinyl or heat transfer vinyl, sometimes you can see where those layers um, you know, start and where they overlap each other. And that's not necessarily what you want. Plus it also, uh, you know, makes for a really cool design. Uh, a lot of people do this like with their names or they do their last name and then they do the couples in between. So lots of really neat things that you can do with that and a really great use of your slice tool. So let's talk about one more thing that's really common using your slice tool. And I'm going to bring in a heart. Okay, this is just for my basic shapes here. There's my heart. And let's go ahead and create some more text. I'm gonna change the font back because I do, um, for this particular design, I need that, that thick, um, bold font. And I'm going to decrease my line spacing. I want those to be really close together. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the letter spacing. I want the letters to be close together too. All right, so let's just center those. Make this larger. You know what, let's go ahead and type in some exact dimensions. We will do five inches tall. And let's turn our heart a different color again. And let's make this four and a half inches tall, okay? So we'll select both of these, go to our align, center them to each other and then slice. All right, I'm gonna show you. This time we're gonna do, we're gonna take out a little bit different, okay? Um, instead of deleting out uh, the pieces, you know, you, you'll see what I mean, you'll see what I mean. There we go. So this is called a knockout design. So basically I will be able to cut one piece of text in one color and the other piece of text in another color. And when I line them back up with whatever material, very common to do for shirts, for heat transfer vinyl and that sort of thing. But then you line them back up and you can still read the text, the total text, but you can also tell that there's this cute little heart design. This is great for like team mascots and things like that. Like there's a lot of really, really neat things that you can do using the slice tool. Also, don't forget the slice tool is very, very useful um, for working with photos. If you're trying to do any type of photo gifts, you can crop them down. You can put, you know, photos into shapes and different things like that. Um, we're going to have a really awesome tutorial on using photos to make um, photo text for you in the near future. Um, and it's also great for patterns.
So this brings us to our very, very last example that we're gonna use today. And I need to upload one more thing. Let's go back to upload image and I'm going to open this leopard print SVG. So let's select that and I'm gonna edit this text and I'm just gonna use my name. Of course, I can use any font that I want, but this one's pretty neat. Now what I wanna do, I am gonna do two layers of this. So I'm gonna um, copy and paste. I just did control C and control V and I'm going to overlap my leopard print on my name. And I'm gonna select both of these and I'm going to slice. Now I'm using a leopard print, cheetah print pattern, but you can do this with chevron patterns, you could do it with hearts, you could do it with zebra, any type of pattern. And it's really, really helpful when it is in an SVG format already, because then you don't have to worry about it. Now I could choose either one of these, it doesn't matter, they're both the same. And you know, I've been feeling really good about this purple. So let's use that. Let's go ahead and select both of these and center a line. And now I would be able to cut this pattern. And I just used, you know, I used a font. You can do this with shapes. There's lots of really neat things that you can do when you're um, creating your own patterns. So now all of these products, I'm going to link for you down in the description. So make sure you sign up for your Creative Fabrica subscription. That way you can download them. They are all included in your monthly subscription amount. So then that gives you the perfect opportunity to test out the slice tool for yourself. Um, but guys, we're going to wrap it up for today. I appreciate you stopping by and hopefully you learn all about the slice tool and practice, practice, practice. So guys, how did you feel about learning more about the slice tool in Cricut Design Space? Now it is really simple, really easy, but it's actually a pretty powerful tool and there are a lot of really neat creative things that you can do with it, whether you're working with print and cut, whether you're creating, you know, your own pattern projects, it's just really, really great. And I like it a lot. But if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. You guys know, I love hearing from you. I love all the great feedback that you give on the videos. And if you don't mind, what is the next thing that you want to see in Creative Design Space? Leave that down below too. But for today, I am going to wrap it up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on notifications, give the video a quick thumbs up. And guys, thanks again for stopping by. I do really appreciate it. We'll see you again next time.